Hi guys, so today we are packing for a little getaway. The kids and I, I was going to say the boys, but we have three kids. The three kids and I are going to be going away to my in-laws and my mom's for a few days. I think the other one kind of getting loud. Um, and I just wanted to show you while I was packing some of like my tips for road trips with kids. And I have gone so many places with kids over the years. I, before I even had kids, I was a nanny. So I did a lot of traveling with kids. Um, we actually went planes. We went on a cruise. I mean, I've gone out of the country with kids. So I, I've learned some things over the years. So I thought I would just show you some of my tips and kind of little things that help, especially in the car. Oh my gosh, so much in the car. So my first thing is make a list. When you know you are going somewhere, make a list, write down everybody's name, write down like what they need. Now for me, I don't be like, okay, you need, you know, so many of this, so many of that. I'm always like, okay, we need three outfits. So I know I need to put three outfits together. You need, you know, pajamas, you need socks, you need underwear. I don't necessarily, I know, okay, if I need three outfits, I know how many days we're going to be there. Um, other things you might need, like any food you might be traveling with, any like chargers, entertainment for the kids, which is huge. Um, I write everything down and then once it's packed, I cross it off. If it's a last minute thing that I would be grabbing like in the, the day of or maybe later, like there's a few things I'll grab tonight after the kids go to bed. Um, like our oils we use, I'll grab those once, you know, we put them in the diffuser and all that. Um, so like I circle them so then I can go back and I use a different color marker than what I wrote my list in so that I know it's like brighter so I can see. Um, another thing is, especially if you're doing a road trip, I personally love to clean my car out. Now, I know it seems silly because you're going to be in the car and kids are going to make a mess, but are you okay? I didn't. Oh, you hit your head. Oh, you okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, I think you're good. I think you're good. You got a big head. Right? You say hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> um, you want it on? Okay. Um, so that is, is I personally really like to clean my car out. Now I don't go like crazy and like, it is on honey. I don't. Okay. So I personally really like to have a clean car. I don't go like crazy. Like I don't have it like detailed or anything. And I was going to have it washed, but it's raining. So that's not going to happen. But I really like to clean out my car and just make sure it's all nice and clean. All the trash is out first. We can't go outside, it's raining, sweetheart. Um, and yeah, so I just like to keep it nice and clean so it's ready to go. Another thing is, is when I am gonna, especially cause we'll be in a car, so we'll have a lot, like this is the snack bag that I've got like snacks for myself in, extra snacks for the kids. Um, I'll show you where their main snacks are. But a couple of things I really love is keep trash bags in your car. So I keep like bags from the grocery store. I have a bunch in there right now, but I just found this one that I had shoved aside. Um, and along with napkins, Ed went to uh, Krispy Kreme yesterday and they sent him home with a ton of napkins in the bag. He didn't notice, he would have told them no, but then I was like, you know what, that's great because I'll keep them in the car so that the kids can have one to wipe their hands. You know, we have wipes in there. Um, but I also just, I will keep a bag with snacks up in the front seat with me, especially this trip because I am going by myself with the kids. I don't have Ed with me because if Ed was with me, it would be no big deal because I can pass snacks, it's no big deal. Uh, but when I'm by myself, I like to make sure everything's just more convenient. So like this will sit on the front seat with me. Um, so I have like snacks for myself, snacks for them. Um, like I said, extra snacks. If you have something like this, um, obviously once it's opened, I would need to keep it closed. Throw a chip clip on it before you leave. So then, then you have it in there and you don't have to worry about it. Whew. All right. Next is entertainment for the kids. This one is key that we have about a three. If I did not have to stop, it would be three and a half hours. It's more four because we usually stop at least once, sometimes twice, depending. Um, this trip, we might get away with only once. It'll all depend because we're leaving a little later than normal. Um, but entertainment for the kids is key. We have a DVD player in the car, so I will later today, the kids and I will sit down and we have a little DVD case. I think it holds like 20 discs I think um, and they'll pick movies to bring with us I'll pick up some of I'll pick out some of Mia's favorite the boys favorites and they know they need to at least watch two movies in the car before we're there so it's kind of nice for them and we try to pick movies that we haven't seen in a while so it's kind of nice and fun um, 
I also keep toys in the car for Mia. So I have like a little bin. It's like this big around. It's from 31. Um, and it's just, it's got a handle, but it's big enough. I've got some little toys in there that are always in the car that she just knows is in the car to play with. I do pack a few extra things for her. Like, um, I think it's actually on the floor. Oh, it is it's on the floor right behind me because she was playing with it. Um, these little boogie boards, um, the kids got these for Christmas. They're really great. They come with different pens, but you can write on it. And then you push the button and it erases super easy we have cases we actually even have all three kids have them i don't know if the boys want to bring them mia it it's, this is like her fave right now so this will be packed um but this will be one of those last minute things i packed because she'll use it most of the day today but it comes with different pens it also has little sheets that can go inside that you can like copy there's little games you can trace your name uh your letters numbers all that fun stuff those are a great investment um i think my in-laws got those off of amazon honestly these are another one of my favorites, especially with little kids, is these Water Wow books because it has a little marker or a little water. You put a little bit of water in it and then as you write, the water comes out and then it, you know, the pitch, the coloring comes out and it dries on its own. It dries really quickly. So there's a few pages. She really likes this. I have a couple other page um, of the books in the car that were the boys. Uh, I actually just went through them and a few of them were okay, but this one she just picked out a couple weeks ago. So she's been loving this one. So I will be packing that. Um, let's see my little, my list of what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> um, food. One thing I like to do, especially cause we're staying with family. So I will have a washer and dryer there if I need to do clothes. So I pack light, I pack the bare minimum. If something gets dirty and we don't have enough outfits, I do a little laundry. It's not that big of a deal. <sighs> Another thing is because I am going Ed is home, he will be working. Um, he's actually even on call. So he's not coming with us. I wanted to make sure that he had some food to quickly make or have already prepped that he just have to heat up while I was gone. So I asked him like, Hey, what would you like? You know, there was a few things he asked for. He asked me to make something. So I wanted to make sure that he was good for the whole week so that I'm not you know, he's not just ordering pizza or grabbing takeout on the way home because one, it gets expensive. And two, after eating that for a few days, it can wreak havoc on your stomach, especially us. So we're like, mm -mm, let's not do that. Um, another thing I love to do, especially when I know like I'm going away for the whole week, you know, today is Monday, we're leaving tomorrow and we're going to come back Friday afternoon. So I didn't really want to have to go grocery shopping Saturday and Ed's on call all weekend. So I would either have to a take all the kids with me, try to get a pickup time and hope that, you know, if I did leave, he didn't get a call. So what I did was I did my grocery pickups. They're already scheduled for Friday evening. I think I have a four to five window at Aldi and then a four to four thirty window at Harris Teeter. Got the same windows. I booked them early. Everything is all set. So I know until Thursday night, if something comes up and I think that, Oh, I forgot it. Or Ed goes, Hey, we're out of this. Is it on the list? Are you getting it tomorrow? I can add it on. Um, even though our, also our sales change midweek, but I'll get emails about what the new sales are. So if I want to add something, um, I can do that. So that's great, especially cause it'll be one less thing. So we'll get home probably between two and three. Actually it could even be one, depending on what time we leave Friday morning, We'll come home, we'll be able to unpack the car. The kids will have a little time and then it'll be like, okay, let's go grab the groceries. Both grocery stores are five minutes, e not even in either direction from our house. So we'll go pick up one and then go pick up the other and then come home and then we'll be good for the night. Also think about your meal when you come home, either do takeout or have something quick ready in the freezer. I have a skillet meal that we're going to do Friday night. So that was great. I did think of doing takeout, but we did take out this weekend. So I'm like, no, we'll just do the skillet. It'll be fine. Now. I'm going to flip you around and show you kind of some of the other ways I pack and make life easy while we're traveling. One more thing before I flip you around to show you everything. I totally forgot to mention the AirPods. Now these are not like the expensive ones. These are, I think they were 20, $25 at Walgreens. I absolutely love them. I think they are great for while I'm in the car. I do not put them both in at the same time. I usually only, I only wear one. Uh, and what is great is because the kids will be watching a movie through the car, um, because we have it through the stereo, it's already hooked in. So I have it into the back. So like, yeah, I could listen to their video, but do I really want to know? So what I'll do is I'll put 
I'll hook these up to my phone and I will listen to like Pandora usually through my phone, but I'll, only I can listen to it because when I'm driving and I'm trying to be like, especially a long trip and I'm trying to like stay calm. I like to listen to comedy. It just makes me laugh and it just puts me in a good mood, but I don't exactly listen to clean comedy. I love like Robin Williams, Dane Cook. Uh, I can't even think of a couple of the other guys, but I love listening to them and let's face it, they are not child appropriate <laughs> at all. So I don't want the kids to hear it. So it's kind of great because I can keep, you know, focused and it's just a little bit of comedy in the background. Oh, Gabriel Iglesias. So he's kind of clean, but he can be a little dirty. Um, but I love listening to them. So I'll put it on and I can still hear cause I'm only listening in one ear. So I can still hear the kids if they need something or anything, you know, the road and all of that. But I'm just getting that little bit of mummy time. I feel like it is even though like, yes, I'm still in mom mode, you know, the kids are in the back, but I can at least have that little bit of me time and kind of like, what mommy likes to listen to while still, you know, not losing my poop by having to listen to like Ratatouille for like the 14th million time, you know? So one little more little mom hack for while you're traveling. Also, if I am like with Ed, sometimes I'll put them in and I will edit videos if I need to. So I can kind of just like be doing a little bit of stuff in the car while I have that time. Um, obviously I won't be because I'm driving, but um, if I'm not driving, that's one thing I do. So let me flip you around and show what I've got. Okay, so I like to take as much as I can. One, it's so much easier and I don't have to worry about going grocery shopping while I'm there or what if stuff wasn't on sale. This we all picked up over the weekend and it was on sale, which was great. So I stocked up, I had the kids. Um, I picked up some of these apple juices for Mia and Robert. The kids each pick out drinks, which these were the six or eight packs, I think. Um, but I've got a couple in a bag to throw in my fridge tonight so that they're cold for the cooler tomorrow. Um, coffee for while I'm gone, some soda for me while I'm gone. Um, and then here's some other stuff. Now I had, I like using my reusable like grocery bags because once we eat up a lot of this, then it's just going to fold down and it'll be so small to just fit in a bag. And it'll be, obviously I know I'm going to come home with less, but this bag I know I need for like the last minute things tomorrow morning. Um, this is the snack bag I was telling you about that's going to be in the car. This is like the extra food and other odds and ends. Like I've got the kids worksheets that they need to do. I've got my laundry bag in there, like just some random stuff, mostly food, but got random stuff in there. And then these are the extra like individual bags of chips, which I don't normally buy, but they are super convenient in the car. And like we've got pirate booty and we've got, um, smart food, which the kids really love. And one other thing I really like to do is let the kids have their own bags. Not necessarily Mia, just because her backpack's small. The boys have their own bags. They picked out toys that they wanted to put in there already. Their loveys will go in there in the morning. I have books in there. Um, any other little thing they want to play with in the car, like Robert has a workbook that he wanted to do. So that's in there with a pen, a couple of pens. Mia's, I don't really do the same thing. This is our bag that pretty much we take anywhere if we have snacks. Top part has diapers, wipes, hand sanitizer. Um, but I do have some snacks in here and then I'm throwing like, I'll put those, the writing board I'll put in there. Um, her little water well book. I've got another book in there for her to read. And then there's just some normal snacks. So like if we go to the beach or the pool while we're away, we'll just grab this and throw some snacks in it. So that makes it so much easier. This one's me and I's clothes and everything. And that's another thing. Like the bottom is diapers and wipes and swim diapers so like I know that's gonna be gone while we're there we won't come back with all of them all right I think I have shared oh I feel like I'm trying to get this done so quickly the kids are playing so nicely together and they actually asked they're like mommy can we help this morning Jeffrey asked me and I was like hey could you play with Mia while I pack <laughs> and so I'm taking advantage and they'll get a little treat later for helping me but this is one way this is super convenient especially because in my car I have a Buick Enclave and Robert typically sits in the way, way back, right? You sit in the third row. Sometimes he'll sit in the middle. Him and Jeffrey will trade. Um, so someone is always sitting next to Mia and then one of them will be in the way back. So it's kind of hard to get snacks to them. So I love this bag idea. Um, we will be leaving after our normal lunch time, but lately we haven't been having lunch until later. So they might be eating in the car. So I kind of made it so that there's something in there for lunch like I put peanut butter crackers in here for Jeffrey and Mia 
some other little snacks. Like I said, I do have extras in case they it's like. I just saw them. Show and them your backpack. It have a suitcase matched this too. We did see there was a suitcase that matched, huh? Maybe it was going to the stores and they get one. Maybe, but you also will have your other duffel bags. Um, the other great thing with them having their own bags is this trip, they are actually going to go. Each of them are staying at my mom's while the rest of us stay at my in-laws for some alone time with Nana, right? The boys have done this. They've stayed apart from I me. I would say wake at Nanny's house. Yes. They have gone to my mom's house or stayed at my in-laws. And, in -laws and, and up to your house. Yes. Um, we, and I've stayed at the other one's house. So the boys have had a break from Mia and Mommy. But this time they each are getting their own night away, which is awesome. Um, anyways, as I get distracted. So I made them each a bag. Obviously Mia is not going to be able to do this herself, but whoever sits next to her will be able to take this bag out of her backpack and be like, hey Mia, what do you want for a snack? And she can pick something and eat. Um, and these are going to go in their backpack too, just because they will carry their backpacks and it will sit next to them because they'll have their toys in it. And Robert, did you want to bring your little writing board? Because if you do, we need to go get it. Or are you just going to use your workbook? Okay, did you want to bring maybe one of your journals? Do you want to bring a, a new one to draw in? Okay, he likes composition books. He says they're his journals. So this is a great little hack to just, then you can be like, okay, here's your snacks. When you eat them, you're done. I don't usually say you're done because I do have extras in case they are super hungry, but honestly, this will probably be enough for the whole trip. The other thing is because I'm taking extra snacks and stuff, when we get down there for our day home, I'll do the same thing. I'll refill the bags again and... Um, I'll restock them. So for their car ride home, it'll be the same thing. And they will have drinks. Um, like I said, I've got stuff going in a cooler. I usually bring cooler and I'll bring like snacks or drinks for the trip, like the car ride. <clears throat> I also will bring any produce that we have that might go bad while we're gone. Um, I also will bring yogurt usually because it's easier for me to find the kind that they like here. Um, and not in Myrtle. I would have to like shop around and I am not in the mood for that so I just bring it from home not a big deal so that is what we've got everything is going pretty well I think I'm like 90% packed I actually have a load of laundry that needs to be switched the last minute things are in there <clears throat> and then another thing is like I've got like this is for our meds that need to go in our oil container this is the chargers so I'll throw the rest of them in there later but just keeping yourself organized, it just makes life so much easier. I'm like way ahead of the game this trip, which is good. I'm hoping that means we're gonna have a nice easy trip and everyone will behave. Probably not because I've got like an owl in the other room apparently. I don't know what he's doing, but that's kind of some of my tips and tricks for traveling, especially with kids. Cause let me tell you, you need to keep them entertained, keep them fed. I entertained and fed are key. Um, Sometimes I will get them to nap. If anything, me will nap because we're going, like I said, after lunchtime. And she also has a doctor's appointment right before. So I think she's getting shots. So that means she will be tired and will most likely nap. So that's great. And the boys know that when she's napping, they have to be quiet. So, you know, as long as you have rules and let the kids know, like, hey, if we behave, like I already told them, look, if we can behave when we get down there, maybe we can get into the pool before dinner. So try to act in, add in little rewards too. Like if we have to stop and go to the bathroom, I might let them pick out a snack, like a special treat, you know, like a candy or something. Um, they'll do that. So just add in little rewards and you can have a nice, safe and relaxing trip.